Hello and welcome. My name is Michelle Christensen and this is an introduction to OneNote. I myself have, am an avid OneNote fan and I use OneNote to keep just about everything in my life organized and moving ahead. I'm a YouTube creator, blogger at OneNoteWorthyLife.com and I run the OneNote Bullet Journal Facebook group. I wanted to create this intro to OneNote because I get asked all the time, both online and in real life, what is OneNote? So let's talk about that. What is it? Well, first I'm going to share some of Microsoft's uh, definition of OneNote. And um, since it is a free Microsoft application, I wanted to share the entire description, but I didn't want to accidentally share something that I wasn't supposed to. So if you're interested, there is a link in the description of this video to the Microsoft training on OneNote that I looked at to pull some of this information from. So uh, part of the Microsoft definition is that OneNote is a digital notebook that lets you take notes wherever you are. The notes are saved and synchronized, and they also use three key words to describe OneNote, and that is capture, share, and organize. So I think these are all pretty good, um, but I don't feel like it quite does OneNote justice. So my description is that OneNote is a digital notebook system that allows you to store and create a wide variety of information in a way that is flexible, searchable, and accessible for most devices. The closest analog comparison would be a uh, digital version of a three-ring binder. You can move information at will and add or remove pages as needed, and you also have sections to keep your work organized. So let me give you a little overview of how you work within OneNote and your OneNote account. So at the very top level, we have your OneNote account. And this is just an account you can set up um, at OneNote.com, or if you use any Microsoft products, you might already have an account that you can use. And it's just a simple setup with your um, email address and setting up a password. Uh, with that, you also get a OneDrive account, and OneDrive is Microsoft's cloud storage where your notebooks are stored by default, and that's also how they're synced uh, across all your devices is using this cloud storage. When you sign up for your OneNote or OneDrive account, you get five gigabytes of storage for free on OneDrive, and in the description of this video, there's a referral link, and if you sign up through that for your OneDrive account, you'll get an extra half gig for free. So that's kind of a good deal. And I also get an extra half gig for free. So it's a good deal for both of us. Um, now, I don't... Oh, okay. So um, the next level down would be notebooks. So you can have many, many notebooks in OneNote. I don't know if there's an upper limit or not. I have heard people talk about having hundreds of notebooks. So that's a lot. I myself probably have a few dozen. Um, we're currently in my demo notebook, so this is the notebook I use to, to record all of my tutorials and OneNote demos. You know which notebook we're in because it says, um, it has the notebook name right here on the upper left-hand corner. At the next level down, we have sections. So your notebook is divided into sections. We are in a section called Intro to OneNote, which is uh, the name of this tutorial, and the other sections in this notebook are other tutorials that I have recorded. So finally, the sort of lowest level would be pages, and we are on a page called Overview. Um, and you know that because it says it right here at the top of the page, and it also is in my page menu on the right here. So let's talk about where can you access OneNote. Well, you can access OneNote almost anywhere. Um, you can access it on devices or desktops running Windows, Android or Apple operating systems. Uh, there, there are app, online, and desktop download versions of the software for OneNote. Um, there are some minor differences between them, so you know, just know that going forward, and I may do a tutorial on that in the future. But uh, they're not super significant. There's just some features that might not be in all the different versions, and sometimes new features are rolled out to one version before another. So just know that there are multiple multiple versions of it. Okay, so let's talk about uh, what you can store. Well, the short answer is you can store a lot more than just notes. So these are just some examples of things that I store in OneNote. You can store typed notes, handwritten notes, if you have uh, a stylus-enabled tablet, or you can even use your finger and trace on your phone. You can store drawings, PDF or other documents, pictures, screen clips from websites, audio, video, 
clip art, uh, charts, and much, much more. So you really have a wide variety of what you can store. Now this section here, uh, I wanted to highlight the fact that OneNote is more than just digital paper. You can do a lot more than you could with just a simple digital paper. So uh, one of the examples uh, I wanted to give you is that you can do checklists, and this can be like a to-do list or a project list. And I've actually set up this page as a checklist, so you can see that I have boxes here that I can check off as I go through each section. The great thing about this is that these are actually tags in Microsoft, I'm sorry, in OneNote, and they are searchable. So you can search across all of your notebooks for either done or completed tasks. So another thing that OneNote does is math calculations on the spot for you. So I have one as an example over here that I wrote in, $215 divided by 15 equals $14.33. But I wanted to just show you how to do that really quickly. Let's say you have a contract for something that's $14.99 a year, and you want to know how much it is per month, where well, you would do $14.99 divided by 12. So I typed in $14.99 with the division sign, and I'm going to put 12 with no spaces, an equal sign also with no spaces, and then I'm going to hit the space bar, and there's my answer. So just like that, you can do calculations. OneNote also handles math formulas, and I have an example of that here on the right. And I'm also going to insert a formula so that you can see some of the more complex uh, formulas it can handle. That's under the Insert menu, and it's an equation. So I'm going to pick a nice... Uh, here, how about the quadratic equation? So you can see how nicely formatted it is and things like that. And OneNote also handles handwritten math and has a feature called Ink to Math. So if your work or your studies involve higher mathematics and a lot of the symbols and formulas and things like that, OneNote is pretty well equipped to handle that. Another thing that OneNote does well is tables. So this is actually a table here I, I made. It's um, three columns name, favorite color, and favorite music, and then two rows of data and one row for the header. So I'm going to go ahead and add a row to this just to show you how easy it is to edit. So I'm going to, in the table tools here, I'm going to click insert below, and I'm going to add a third person. And, and then you can hit tab or the right arrow to get over there. And we'll say his favorite music is... Uh, Okay, so there's tables. Now OneNote also works beautifully with Microsoft Office. It integrates really seamlessly with spreadsheets and PowerPoint presentation and uh, Word documents and things like that. Notebooks can be shared. Uh, this is a fabulous feature if you um, want to share with your colleagues or family members or things like that. And I will give you an example. Um, my husband and I share notebooks for various purposes. Uh, we were planning a vacation last year and used a shared notebook to do that. We also have a shared list of local activities we want to do, and we can both go in and edit that and add links and maps and things like that. So uh, that's a really useful feature. So finally, I wanted to just touch on this idea that you can make your pages pretty. Um, if you're involved with any journaling or planning or digital journaling groups or anything like that online, there's a lot of people posting just gorgeous pages. And I wanted to just let you know that you can do that in OneNote. So let me just show you, um, there's a whole section of decorative templates that you can just use right out of the box. Um, so this one here is called the Bouquet Template. Um, and it's a decorative template, and it's found under Insert Templates Decorative, and I will demo that in a minute. So this is the actual template, and over here on the right is a page color I added. It's a, like a pinkish color. But I'm going to change that just to demo it for you. So we're going to go view, page color, and let's try a nice orange color. So that's a, you know, a different way to make it pretty. So I'm going to show you how to insert a decorative template on your own. So we're going to go to Insert, Page Templates. And this drop-down menu is all of the templates I have used recently, but I'm going to go all the way down here to the actual full list of page templates and click on the decorative section. And let's see, and let me try and find a nice looking one. Um, let's try lilies. So there's our lilies template. Let me close this up. It has kind of a nice uh, watercolor look to it. 
and um, yeah, that's kind of a, a nice looking page. You could play around with the colors and, and things like that, your fonts and font colors and stuff if you really want a beautiful page. And then the other thing I wanted to just mention is uh, this is a page I did myself, um, kind of a scrapbooky type page. Uh, we had taken a day off to um, go hiking, and instead of having all my normal to-do lists and you know daily information, I just um, turned it into a scrapbook style page. So that's another way you can make beautiful pages. So let me give you some real life examples of OneNote. This is how I use it in my actual, you know, real life setting here. Uh, I use it in the bullet journal style. Um, so I used to use a paper notebook, but I have since switched over to OneNote and I absolutely love it for my bullet journal. Um, as I mentioned before, it makes a OneNote is great for planning travel. It's also great for a class notebook. So uh, there's a huge segment of people using OneNote in the school system, like the public schools, private schools, that kind of thing. But if you actually want to take like a professional development class, like I take a lot of classes online, um, it's great for that purpose too, because you, you can take your notes and, and things like that right in there. You can share a notebook with family members for any reason. You could coordinate schedules or family information, that kind of thing. You can also coordinate, if you have someone with medical needs, you can coordinate there. So that works great. You can use OneNote for a recipe book. You can easily see how, you know, creating one of these notebooks for your recipes and then having sections for the various things you like to cook and it's all searchable, linkable, etc. You can also use OneNote for scrapbook or journal pages as I showed you just a minute ago with that one page I made as a scrapbook page. And then finally, another good use for OneNote is if you have a family member who is undergoing medical care, you can use OneNote to document all that and you can keep uh, copies of you know, blood work, test results, appointments, that kind of thing, all in a OneNote notebook and then it's always with you. So the last thing I want to talk about, this is all well and good, it's great, OneNote sounds terrific, right? Well, I want to tell you how OneNote has actually changed my life and this phrase gets thrown around so much as it's on to be like almost meaningless but these are actual real changes i have seen in my life well first of all i'm so much more organized i was pretty organized to begin with i mean I, most people would have described me as organized before but i feel like it's just come to a whole another level um all of my quote-unquote stuff has a place there's just no more random sticky notes lists folders half-filled notebooks etc in a physical sense i have a place to put all this in a mental sense, I have a place for random thoughts and ideas, as well as anything that comes up or anything that comes my way during the day. And I don't worry about losing or forgetting things. So I'm much more productive. Uh, quite simply, I get more done and I feel better about it. I also feel more sure that I'm doing the best thing at a given moment. So as a natural outcome of the first two things, I have less stress in my life, and that is really a, a nice feeling. I enjoy my time off a lot more as well, because I'm much more sure that it's a good time to take time off. So I have fewer lost thoughts and ideas. I now have a way to capture and stay on top of stray thoughts and ideas or things I want to do or anything I might hear and I just don't lose those things anymore. So I have more flow through and what I mean by this is things come in so it might be a piece of mail, thoughts, tasks, issues, home repairs, etc. but they get added to the correct place, handled, and then archived. And this feels so good. Um, things are just not piling up the way they used to. And so finally, I have a way to approach things. Like a lot of times when something new comes my way, my first thought is, oh, let me create a page for this. And just sort of getting my thoughts down on paper helps me figure out, do I need to make a chart? Do I need to, you know, make a list of things to do? Do I need to contact someone? It really helps me to figure out how I approach things that come into my life. So that's it. That is your introduction to OneNote. I hope you're, you are as, as excited about OneNote as I am. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments of this video and I'll do my best to help you out. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit the thumbs up button so I know you like this. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.